Picking up the pieces after a fire tore through a business, an apartment in East McKeesport. The flames were so intense at one point. You can see them in that video. A Channel 11 Shelly Boritz is hearing from the business owner who raced to get out. Ryan, it was a frightening experience for her because she had no idea her business was on fire. And like you said, she literally ran to safety. We were working and uh, the neighbor came and she yelled, in the store, your store's on fire. Hearing the words, your store is on fire, is something the owner of Leah's Floral Shop in East McKeesport will never forget. My son was in uh, with me. He ran out. He said, Mommy, the store is on fire. Call 911. It was around 12 o'clock Saturday afternoon when that next door neighbor alerted King that her store was on fire. This is video shared with Channel 11 by a witness. Firefighters got here within minutes of the owner calling 911. And while I was on the phone with 911, I could hear all the popping, like all the outlets started popping. When firefighters got to the Fifth Avenue business, they were greeted by heavy smoke and flames that had already spread to the apartment next door. I don't think I've ever seen anything go up so fast. Like they were trying to grab a hose to put it out and you couldn't even, it, there was no way. It, it just kept it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Crews tell Channel 11 they worked fast to control the spread of the fire to the apartment, with most of the damage being contained to the outside. We're told the owner and three employees were inside. Everyone made it out safely. The man who lives in the apartment made it out unharmed too, but his cat didn't. Several Turtle Creek police officers tried their very best to rescue the pet. We were able to get a quick knock. We were able to get our truck set up here. All the crews did a great work here and it was just impeccable timing with everybody. This is what Leah's floral shop looks like now. Hours after those unforgettable words, your store is on fire. King is left to wonder what's going to happen to the orders for flowers she's expected to fill in the coming days, especially for a funeral. However worrisome, she says she is thankful to be alive. The building is replaceable. Our, our merchandise is replaceable. All my employees aren't. Leah's is a family business and has been in the East McKeesport community for 62 years. Fire tore through the store back in 1983 and they rebuilt it. The owner tells me they'll do it again. This fire is under investigation. I'm Shelly Bortz for Channel 11 News.